Hey there, it's a real estate chick again with another real estate agent tip. This time it's about vendors. Okay, all of us probably have our list of preferred people that we use for, I don't know, electrical issues, plumbing issues, landscaping issues, you kind of get the drift. We all do, and we get asked for those people all the time. What I see a lot of agents do is just post it on their website, and they'll say, hey there, it's there, out there, if you want it, just go to it, and it makes they think it makes them look like they're a great resource and they are, not only to their clients, but to other agents. So if I'm looking for a painter, I might go on your website and see who you recommend. And especially if you're a great agent, and I know you're a great agent, I'd say, you know, I respect their opinion. So I'm going to say that painter's name when someone asks me. So I wouldn't do that. I know that sounds a little catty, but I wouldn't do it. I think it's very valuable information that you have cultivated and you've used those relationships over the years. So what I always did was I created a vendor guide, a preferred vendor directory. And in it, just listed everything in here, landscapers, you name it, radon people, because I was in Colorado, um, you name it, uh, you know, basically everyone we just talked about, I would have in here, mold restoration, moving companies, everything you can think of, it was in this booklet. I didn't print a ton of them, I just printed it on a normal printer and stapled it, and had a nice little glossy cover. Um, I didn't print a ton of them because I needed to update them because so many people go out of business, right? But I did this for two main reasons. Huge listing tool, huge. When I would be in a listing presentation, I would pull this puppy out and show them that and their eyes would always light up. So many times people would say, are you going to leave that behind or can we keep one? And I'd say, oh, you know, I wish I could. Once you become a client, absolutely. You'll not only get this one, you'll get updated copies afterwards because once you're a client of mine you're always a client of mine i know that's not a little corny but it worked <laughs> and number two the reason i would do it is a great way to stay in touch with past clients because i always needed updated so sometimes maybe i was in the market for a plumber because my other plumber just went mia or something like that I would go to my past clients. They were huge resources for me. And I'd say twice a year, I'd say, hey, I'm updating the provider directory and this is what I'm looking for now. If you have any recommendations, can you send them my way? And then I'll make sure you get a copy of the updated directory. Do you think I received responses? Absolutely, every single time. So it was a great way to stay in touch with past clients, my name, my contact information's all over it. Now I did have a disclaimer in here saying I was not liable for workmanship or pricing. So you wanna make sure you do that. And I didn't charge people to be in this directory at all, at all. Did they know they were in the directory? You betcha, they did. I made sure they knew that, but I didn't charge them. This was gonna be legit. I was recommending them because they do a good job. So try it.